This video teaches how to make measurements in the Sonnet Project Editor in Sonnet Suites version 16. The most direct way to make a measurement in Sonnet is to use the measuring tool. You can select the measuring tool by clicking on this icon in the toolbar. As you move the mouse around your project, pointing at different things, the cursor changes. For instance, if you're on a polygon vertex, it becomes a circle. If you're on a polygon edge, it becomes a square. If you're on the center of a polygon edge, it becomes a larger square. So measure this polygon by first clicking to start the measurement. Now notice when the cursor is 90 degrees to the original point, the line is dashed. So measure the width by going across to the other polygon edge. Notice that the cursor appears as an X to indicate it's on the edge of the polygon and orthogonal to the starting point of the measurement. As soon as you stop moving the cursor, a pop-up window displays the current measurement. In this project, the grid units have been set to mils, so the measurement readout units are in mils as well. For this measurement, the cursor location from the starting point is 0 mils in the x direction and 16 mils in the y direction. It also tells us the total length of the line is 16 and the angle is minus 90. This readout also appears on the left side of the status bar. Now, measure the length of the polygon using the vertices this time. First, click once to clear the measurement starting point. Then, click on this vertex and hover at this vertex. Notice the circle icon appeared each time. The measurement readout shows in both the pop-up window and down on the status bar. The length of this polygon is 84. Length and width can be measured simultaneously by going vertex to vertex. This readout shows the length and width is 84 by 16. You can also use the lasso technique with the measuring tool. When you lasso an area, it highlights the two points that are farthest away. Click and drag the cursor to measure the width of this line quickly by lassoing the two points on that one edge. Again, you can see in the pop-up window and status bar that the width is 16 mils. The length and width can be measured simultaneously by lassoing the entire polygon. Now you can see that it's 84 by 16. It is possible to make measurements using just the status bar, even if the measuring tool is not up. First, exit the measuring tool by pressing the escape key. There are two areas of the status bar that are important for making measurements. This area here, which changes depending on your selection, and this area here, which shows you the X and Y location of your cursor. When this circle is clicked on, the diameter of it is displayed in the status bar. This area displays the size of everything that is currently selected. When the polygon is added to the selection, the size section shows that the total distance from the circle edge to the box wall is 89 mils. You can also use the status bar for measurements in edit points mode. When in edit points mode, you can measure the distance between the points that you select by looking down at the size section of the status bar. The local origin is yet another technique used to make measurements. Remember that the XY location in the readout is the location of the cursor, but that location is relative to the local origin, which by default is down here in the lower left hand corner, 0, 0. But you can move this anywhere you want to by selecting and dragging. The origin will snap to edges, so you can place it at the edge of any polygon, such as the corner of this one. Now, when you move the cursor, the readout in the status bar is relative to the new origin location. If you hover at the diagonal edge from the origin, you can see the polygon size by looking at the XY location, 84, 16. There are other things you can do with the local origin by right-clicking on it. Resetting it puts it back in the lower left-hand corner. Centering it puts it in the middle of the box, and locking it prevents you from accidentally dragging it. Selecting local origin will bring up this dialog box, which allows you to control the origin, including entering absolute coordinates for its location. You can also bring the dialog box up by double-clicking on the origin. Finally, you can also reset the origin by pressing the delete key when it's selected. Note that if you'd like the readout information in a floating window, you can select View Readout. This window also provides you additional information and direct access to the local origin. Thanks for watching. To explore Sonnet further, visit us at sonnetsoftware.com.